Welcome to Seed Packets. In this lesson, I'm learning to solve simple ratio problems by using repeated copying. Let's imagine I had one pack of seeds, and in that pack there is one red seed, and there are five green seeds. And every pack I buy looks like that. It always has one red and five green. Now I can also show this information as a ratio. I can say there are one there was one red seed to every five green seeds. Now I'm going to use this information here to help me work out how many red and green seeds I'll have if I have more than one pack. Well you can see over here I've got a table drawn up. At the top here I've got packs, so this is one pack, and then if I had two, three, four, five, and I could continue on that way. This line here is going to be how many red seeds I have, and this line here is how many green seeds I've, I have. Now, we already know how many red and green seeds I have if I have one pack. We look back over here and it said I had one red seed and five green seeds. So hopefully in your head you're imagining a pack which has got one red seed and five green seeds. Now let's imagine what it would look like if we had two packs. You can see here that uh, in, in pack two that the ratio of red to green seeds remains exactly the same. There's one red for every five green. But now with two packs you can see we have got two red. So I can write that up there because this column is all to do with two packs and there are two red ones. And there are five green in this pack and five green in this pack. So there are ten in total. Now let's see if we can imagine what uh, three packs would look like. You can see from our picture here that we would now have three red seeds in three packs and there would be 15 green seeds if we had three packs. Now drawing pictures is a great way of working this out, but it can be quite slow and obviously if we had lots and lots of packs it's going to be very time consuming to do. So let's see if we can work out a better way to work out how many red and green seeds there would be. So let's see what patterns we can spot up here. Well, for every, every time we open a new pack we get one extra seed, which is why when we had one pack there was one seed, and when we had two packs there were two seeds, and three packs there were three seeds. So we can use that pattern to work out how many there are, how many seeds there will be if we had four packs and five packs. Another way to think about it is uh, using our multiplication. If we had four packs and there were one in each pack, that means we would have four red seeds. And if we had uh, five packs and there's still one in each, five times one equals five. And we can also use a pattern to help us work out how many green seeds there would be. You can see in one pack there were five green seeds, in two packs there were ten. And that's just because every time we open a new pack we get five more green seeds. So if we go up to here where we had four packs and there are five in each pack, so four groups of five is 20. And to work out how many there would be in our fifth pack, we can go five groups of five, and that equals 25. Let's try another question. Uh, this time I'm imagining packs of chocolate, and in each pack I open there are two pieces of white chocolate and five pieces of dark chocolate. And just like last time I've got a table to help me work these out. At the top I've got packs. I've got one pack, two pack, three packs, and then you can see I'm taking a big jump up to ten, and then a really big jump up to 100 packs. So you can see that using uh, pictures is not going to be a good way to answer this question. And here I've got my white chocolates and my dark chocolates. Well we can start by filling in how many are in one pack. We know there are two white pieces and five dark pieces. Now let's work out how many there would be in two packs. Well if I have two packs, and let's do the white line first, we know that there are two white pieces in each pack. So two lots of two is four. And if I want to work out how many there are in three packs, I put 
three packs, and I know that there's two in each pack. Three lots of two is six. Now moving up to ten packs. Well, we just do it exactly the same way. If I have ten packs, and there's two in each pack, that must mean there are twenty in each pack. And to work out a hundred, I have a hundred packs, two in each pack, so I must have two hundred white pieces of chocolate. Now let's work out the dark chocolate line. And I might do this in a different colour so we don't get confused. Um, on to two packs. So we know that in each pack there are five dark pieces of chocolate. So I've got two groups of five, which means I will have, have ten dark pieces of chocolate. In three packs I will have three packs of five dark pieces of chocolate, which equals fifteen. And I'm sure you're getting the pattern now. If I have 10 packs, uh, 10 packs where there's 5 dark pieces in each would mean there are 50. And 100 packs where there are 5 in each means I would have 500 dark pieces of chocolate. I hope you've found this lesson helpful. Uh, for more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.